Hi everyone, a quick follow-up to some of my recent videos about 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS. I am recording this in October 2025. It turns out that in September 2025, Dassault announced some branding changes regarding the SOLIDWORKS line. One of the points of the rebranding is to recognize the fact that over the past 30 years, SOLIDWORKS has evolved from a CAD platform into a much broader area. So there are four different domains that they are recognizing that they have products in. You have your CAD side. There is governance and product data management, data management. There's also simulation and you also have manufacturing. Now I'm going to concentrate on some of the branding changes around the CAD side. So to recognize that there are multiple different domains of products, the different SOLIDWORKS CAD programs and platforms now have the word design in the name to distinguish them from say, the governance and data management products and the simulation products and the manufacturing products. Another big note is that they're using the terms connected and augmented in the branding. So for example, on the design side, you used to have SOLIDWORKS Professional with Cloud Services. That's going to be known as SOLIDWORKS Design Professional Connected. And similarly, if you had SOLIDWORKS uh, Premium with Cloud Services, that's now SOLIDWORKS Design Premium Connected. And so the with cloud services is now becoming connected. But here is what's more relevant to some of my recent videos. It looks like they're trying to distance the core SOLIDWORKS product from the 3D experience that they have been merging it into and branding it with for the past five years. So for example, if you had 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS Standard, that is now called SOLIDWORKS Design. Again, there's that design keyword for the CAD side, Standard Augmented. So wherever they are using 3D Experience on the CAD side, they're now replacing it with augmented at the end. For example, if you had uh, 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS Premium, that is now going to be known as SOLIDWORKS Design Premium Augmented. And so it's very interesting and I am also interested in seeing what direction so takes with respect to 3D experience and SOLIDWORKS in general. And I do want to thank Dassault. You know, I have had SOLIDWORKS Maker for years or SOLIDWORKS for Makers for years, and they really have been forcing 3D experience on us. And especially when you had to do a hotfix, they forced you to go into the 3D experience website and you really had to hunt around for where that hotfix was buried in the 3D Experience website. It was not intuitive. I mean, I, I would waste literally five minutes trying to find out where it was. And I noticed on the very last update that I had to do, which I made a video about, when you go to install the hotfix, you go right to the installer. You no longer have to go into an internet browser. You no longer have to go into the 3D Experience website and look around and figure out where that hotfix is buried in there. And so I uh, greatly appreciate that, but uh, I, I would be interested in seeing in the future what this means for 3D Experience and SOLIDWORKS. And we'll see if you have inside of SOLIDWORKS Connected or the SOLIDWORKS desktop version that 3D experience in the little right-hand side panel anymore. Anyhow, just a bit of an update on Dassault and SOLIDWORKS. Thank you very much.